Excellency, the next set of bill, which has also gone through a similar legislative process, that is a legislative ping pong between the two houses, agreement, disagreements, and ending up with a mediation, is a water, uh, water Act Amendment Bill. It is a bill that emanated from the executive. The bill before your excellency is principally bringing into our development of our water project the concept of public-private partnership, which has been missing. to the Cabinet Secretary for the Treasury. To the Prime Cabinet Secretary on behalf of the Water Ministry for the implementation of the Water Amendment Act. This state ceremony is convened pursuant to Article 115 of the Constitution to facilitate the presidential assent of three parliamentary bills. These bills are intended to accelerate the implementation of the administration's bottom-up economic transformation agenda and are as follows. The Division of Revenue Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill No. 38 of 2024, the Water Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill No. 33 of 2023, and the National Rating Bill, National Assembly Bill No. 55 of 2022. Sir, the first bill to receive Your Excellency's assent is the Division of Revenue Amendment Bill. The amendments to the 2024 Division of Revenue Act were necessitated by the revenue deficit that arose on account of the failure to enact the Finance Act 2024. This bill is a result of a mediation process of both Houses of Parliament in accordance with Articles 112, 2B, and 113 of the Constitution. Following the mediation process, the National Assembly and the Senate considered and approved the mediated version of the bill on 27th November 2024 and 28th November 2024, respectively, thereby concluding the bicameral consideration process of the bill. Sir, the second bill to receive Your Excellency's assent is the Water Amendment Bill. This bill seeks to implement a key pillar of the administration's plan to enhance access to clean water for domestic use and irrigation. Specifically, it amends the Water Act Cap 372 to provide for public-private partnerships in financing the development of waterworks by national government agencies and in the operations and maintenance of water services. It also introduces a framework for the provision of bulk water services by the national government. Similarly, this bill was referred to a mediation committee of both houses of parliament pursuant to Article 113 of the Constitution. The mediated version of the bill was subsequently approved by the National Assembly on 15th October 2024 and by, and by the Senate on 19th November 2024. The third and final bill to receive presidential assent is the National Rating Bill. The amendments introduced by this bill herald a new down in land administration in the country by establishing a standardized framework for property valuation and rating. It also provides clear guidelines to counties 
on assent, assent, assessing property values and imposing rates. Your Excellency, this bill was also referred to a mediation committee pursuant to Article 113 of the Constitution. The mediated version of the bill was subsequently approved by the National Assembly on 13th November 2024 and by the Senate on 19th November 2024. Mighty and everlasting Father, we come before you this morning, King of Glory, to, for His Excellency to ascend to the bills that the legislature has passed. Mighty Jehovah, these are very critical, the Division of Revenue Bill, the Water Amendment Bill, and the National Rating Bill. King of Glory, may these laws help us to transform this country to a better country. King of Glory, may those, all the, the, the stakeholders who are involved in impl implementing these laws, King of Glory, implement them to the letter to ensure that the objectives of these bills, the objectives of these laws are achieved so that our people can benefit from them. We bless you, Lord, for our president. Continue blessing him. Continue leading him. Continue showering him with grace and favor. And more so, continue giving him good health. Protect us, Lord. Lead us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen.